Everyone deserves to live a life of dignity, fully enjoying the inalienable rights we are all entitled to. Our rights can only be limited by the state acting lawfully and where necessary, provided the limitation is justifiable within an open and democratic society based on human dignity, equality and freedom. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights and its associated international human rights treaties such as the Convention Against Torture and the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights set out some fundamental human rights which are non-derogable. The right to life as well as freedom from torture or cruel, inhuman or degrading treatment or punishment is absolute. Even during a state of emergency, war or threat of war. Unfortunately, this is often not the reality. In many countries, police and security forces violate people's rights in both public spaces and places of detention. Excessive use of force resulting from an order or poor training where law enforcement equipment that may have a legitimate law enforcement role when used strictly in accordance with international human rights standards leads to grievous human rights violations. Equipment such as pepper sprays, tear gas, water cannons, handcuffs and batons have to be regulated through a comprehensive legal and regulatory framework to protect the rights of citizens. While some of this equipment has a legitimate law enforcement purpose, there are companies that produce and sell torture devices which are only designed to inflict pain or cause fear. Electric shields and batons, spiked batons, thumb cuffs and body-worn electric shock devices are inherently degrading and serve no legitimate law enforcement purpose. Today, around the world, people are still tortured, still subjected to other cruel, inhuman or degrading treatment or punishment. We cannot let this continue. A number of organizations are working in partnership to end the trade in torture technologies and control the trade of law enforcement equipment that is misused or abused. We aim to support survivors to attain legal redress in line with the standards set by international, regional and national law. We call on governments to introduce effective controls on the manufacture, use and trade of torture equipment and to support the United Nations Secretary General's initiative to establish common international standards for torture-free trade. Sign up to the International Alliance for Torture-Free Trade and end the trade in tools of torture. This video was brought to you by the Omega Research Foundation, Justicia Global, Contras and the Legal Resources Center and partially funded by the European Union.